Hello guys, and it's Fraction Master Arts here, and I'm going to show you how to make Modern Warfare 3 uh, the text off of the front cover of the game, or whatever, the main text of MW3 in Cinema 4D, because I know a lot of people have been having trouble with the W and it's going wrong. So, you'll have to go down down download a font before we start. So, if you want to pause the video now and look in the description, there'll be a link to the font that it is. So, pause the video now and go download that. So I'm gonna go delete everything here now. And I'm gonna delete my materials as well because I like to restart completely so you know what I'm doing. So to start off, what you gotta do is grab some text. Some old fashioned text and you got to go to object depth ninety and there's a confusing bit which I'll show you in a minute. Right, here we go. Uh you gotta center it as well. What you're going to have to type in is M, M, yeah, not M, W, M, M, four spaces, and then a three. So it should look like that, if you're zoomed in, like, a lot. i zoom out a bit. I think I accidentally put the subdivision on, yeah, I did. So there you go. You need to type that in. I know you might think I'm spaz, or and I don't know the name of the game, but that is what you have to type in. Get the font that you've just downloaded, and... and you, uh, yeah, change it to the font you just downloaded and put it in bold so now you can see it's the Modern Warfare font now what you want to do is get the horizontal space in and put it to about minus I think it was 71 I'm pretty sure surrender it yeah about minus 71 maybe minus 70 I think about minus 70 will do yeah so this is it now minus 70 yeah so now you've done that uh, what you want to do is put no caps on at all and and you want to make a material and this material it you're going to do about blue to about 58 red to about 58 and then you'll get this nice green color although it's not appearing right now there we go and you're going to get that nice green colour, and that's all you have to do. Literally, both of them on 58, and you get this real nice... That is the actual Modern Warfare green. So, drag that onto it. And if we, if we, if I render it, it's not going to look like it, because uh, the lighting, it's really bright, because there's no lights added yet. So, that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to zoom out a bit. Grab a light. Put one below the text. Grab a light put one left of the text, grab another one, put it to the right of the text, and then this one, you put above, and then drag it out, so you can see the front, and it doesn't matter how high you put it, you can put it any height, it will not, like, change it at all, so, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in now, if you hear anything in the background, sorry about that noise, I can't affect that, if I render it now, Modern Warfare 3, and this really light green bit here, it won't be showing in uh, afterwards, so it doesn't matter. So there you go, you got the Modern Warfare dark green there. And I know it says MM3, but we're going to do that later. So drag, hold control and drag your Motex out to create another one. Delete the green, it'll turn white, but yeah, don't worry. Grab the object and change the depth to about 70. And now you've done that, you want to get to caps. And make two fillet caps, one on the start, one on the end, and make both their radiuses seven centimeters. That's going to look really weird. So go to your top view and drag it so it's right deadest in the middle, which is that it actually fits perfectly in the middle. So there's a little bit on that side, a little bit on that side. And then if we go back to our normal view, you'll see the green out the front. You won't see the green, the uh, really, really light fluorescent bit in the middle, which you didn't like. And now what we're going to do is create another material. Now this one's pretty easy to to do this one. Go to colour, drag it all to zero, get the blackest black there is, and then get rid of the word specular, untick it. So now it should have nothing, come on, it's been a really slow loader today. Right, so now it's completely black, drag it on, and there you go. We, you won't see it, but... It, it gets rid of the bit in the middle and you will see it later on when you put it into Photoshop or whatever. So yeah. Now what you want to do, this is the complicated bit. So hold C and press 
plus on everything that I do. Just watch MM and free. So that's what you want to do, and you want to do it for both of them. So you want to go hold C all the time, be holding C, not control, just the letter C, and drag it all out so it looks like this. You should have all your stuff like that now. What you want to do now is grab the second M on the first set of letters. So you want to grab this M here. Go to coordination and turn the middle one here, the R dot P. You want to type in 180. Now that's going to turn it into a W, which is the exact W they have on the Modern Warfare uh, logo. Now what you're going to do, drag it up here until it feels like right. That feels like right. It feels like it's going to fit in properly. Then you go to this top view and drag it inwards perfectly like it was before. So there you go. It, it hasn't changed at all apart from literally this, the... Uh, the angle of it. Now it's going to have these little flicky bits and you're going to get annoyed by them but trust me they won't be there in a second. Ignore it now and grab the second M on the second section letters and do the same go to coordination the middle one R.P to 180 drag it about up until it feels about right I think about there will do. Go to the top view and drag it inwards until it makes that real nice crease that it did before which is there so now there we go we render it there we go the Modern Warfare 3 text completely made and I'll show you how to render it quickly you want I've already set put the settings out already so you want to go to preset, film video, and this one here, HDV slash HDTV 72025. Everything else can say the same. You want to like choose your file or whatever and make it a PNG in the format section and tick alpha channel. I cannot stress that enough. Tick it. Don't tick anything else. Just tick alpha channel and leave it. Go to anti-aliasing. Change it to, from geometry to best and the max level to one by one. And then I haven't done it myself. Add effect ambient occlusion and add global illumination and hit render. And then I've already done it. I'm just just overwrite it. I might as well. And what you're gonna and it's gonna look really cool. It, uh, you can use it in like all your Photoshop work. If you, you didn't know how to make it, that's how. And it's gonna take a while to render, but I'll let it render while I speak. So guys, please subscribe to this tutorial, and if you want another tutorial on how to do another game, or whatever, I know a lot of them, so yeah, please subscribe, and uh, background making details are in the left section of the channel, if you, if, you, if you want a background, or if you want a logo, or something like that, I've got quite a lot of people asking me for them. So I thought I'd just let out a tutorial because I'm getting backed up with so much work. I can't. It's just draining me. And I hadn't done the tutorial in a while, so I thought a little break from the speed art, so I'd put a tutorial out. And here it is. Hope a lot of you enjoyed this and wanted to know how to do the Modern Warfare text. In Photoshop, what you're going to do is between the M and the W right here, here, about here, you want to do a black line basically in between just a real small one a black line and it, what that's going to do is it's and then you want to do another black line in between the top bit of the free here and the bottom bit of the free here that's just a little like extra thing but that's how to do the text and thanks for watching guys my computer's doing something it's getting bubbles on the screen thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed and peace out